everyone welcome back to your own channel science with shalini this is shalini today's class will be about another scientist niels bohr and i will discuss about bohr's atomic model and his limitations but before starting this video i am requesting you to watch this video till the last i will try to explain this graphically and let's start Bohr model of the atom was proposed by Niels Bohr in 1915. It came into existence with the modification of Rutherford's model of an atom. Rutherford's model introduced the nuclear model of an atom in which he explained that a nucleus positively charged is surrounded by negatively charged electrons. Bohr modified this atomic structure model by explaining that electrons moved in fixed orbitals or shells and not anywhere in between and he also explained that each orbit or shell has a fixed energy level Rutherford basically explained the nucleus of an atom and Bohr modified that model into electrons and their energy levels Now I am showing you the Bohr's model of an atom. Bohr's model consists of a small nucleus which is positively charged surrounded by negative electrons moved around the nucleus in orbits. Bohr found that an electron located away from the nucleus has more energy and electrons close to the nucleus have less energy. Now I'll discuss about postulates of Bohr's model of an atom. So the postulates are number 1 in an atom electrons negatively charged revolve around the positively charged nucleus in a definite circular path called orbits or shells. Number 2 each orbit or shell has a fixed energy and these circular orbits are known as orbital shells number 3 the energy levels are represented by an integer n equals to 1 2 3 and so on known as the quantum number this range of quantum number starts from nucleus side with n equals to 1 having the lowest energy level The orbits n equals to 1 2 3 4 etc are assigned as k l m n etc shells and when an electron attains the lowest energy level it is said to be in the ground state number 4 the electrons in an atom move from a lower energy level to a higher energy level by gaining the required energy and an electron move, moves from a higher energy level to lower energy level by losing energy bohr amended that view of the motion of the planetary electrons to bring the model in line with the regular patterns which is spectral series of light emitted by real hydrogen atoms by limiting the orbiting electrons to a series of circular orbits having discrete radii bohr could account for the series of discrete wavelengths in the emission spectrum of hydrogen he proposed light radiated from the hydrogen atoms only when the electron made a transition from an outer orbit to one closer to the nucleus the energy lost by the electron in the abrupt uh, transition in precisely the same as the energy of the quantum of emitted light the physicist niels bohr said Anyone who is not shocked by quantum theory has not understood it. He also said we must be clear that when it comes to atoms language can only be used as in poetry. So what exactly is this Bohr atomic model? Let us find out. Bohr atomic model and the models after that expla- explain the properties of atomic electrons on the basis of certain allowed possible values. Uh, 
the model explained how one atom absorbs or emit radiation when electrons on subatomic level jump between the allowed and stationary states german born physicists james frank and gustav hertz obtained the experimental evidence of the presence of these states now i will dis discuss about the distribution of electrons in orbits or shells electronic distribution of various orbits or energy levels can be calculated by the formula 2n square here n denotes the number of orbits the number of electrons in k shell that is first orbit can be calculated by 2n square that is equals to 2 into 1 square which is equals to 2 thus maximum number of electrons in first orbit is 2 similarly the number of electrons in l shell that is second orbit that is equals to 2 into 2 square which is 8 thus the maximum number of electrons in second orbit is 8 in this way we can determine the maximum number of electrons but the model had some limitations the limitations of bohr model of an atoms are number 1 bohr's model of an atom failed to explain the zeeman effect effect of magnetic field on the spectra of atoms number 2 it also failed to explain the stark effect that is the effect of electric field on the spectra of atoms number 3 it violates the heisenberg uncertainty principle and number 4 it could not explain the spectra obtained from larger atoms so these are the limitations of bohr's atomic model we will also learn the zeeman effect stark effect heisenberg uncertainty principle in the next videos and for that you have to follow this channel so that is it for today hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please press like button and comment me and let me know what what else you want to know share this video as much as possible and do subscribe your channel press bell icon and press all option to get all notifications i will give you my facebook page link and all videos playlist link in the description box so go and check it out stay safe bye